I want to share something about that there's always hope in times of chaos. I strongly believe that nothing happens for no reason. So I, what, what I mean is, I think everything happens for a reason. And we're always tested by events out there where everybody is a player in the bigger game and brings up certain lessons to learn and also a certain reflection where we are in our development and in our growth. So it looks like systems uh, are now old. They are from the age of Pisces and we're in a different age now. They don't work anymore. And we try to very often to, to hold on tight to the old, even though it doesn't work. But when it comes to the extreme, then we decide to change something about that. And it looks like that we humans uh, are still collectively thinking that we learn better through suffering than through joy. Now a lot of people suffer on the earth because there's a lot of hate a lot of destabilization, uh, bringing them and us up against each other. And there's a way out. And the way out is you, me, you and me as an individual person. What do I talk about? I talk about the age of Aquarius that we're in right now. This is the beginning of it, but we're now in a test you know, like in school, and we need to pass some tests. Because in the age of Aquarius, it's all about your individual responsibility. So all those events show us, I think, that there's nobody to follow out there. The leaders don't can't uh, replace our inner leadership. And we have to take on inner leadership. And a lot of people think nowadays that going into leadership means now I'm a coach and I tell other people how to live their life. That's not what I'm talking about. And I think situations like that invite us to really double check ourselves. How do I react in a situation like that? Do I, what sides do I choose? And do I participate in bringing up anger, hate, and I'm against this and I'm against that and this is the right person to go for. Maybe there is no right person sometimes. The only right person might be you. If you wake up and you start to think and you try to take responsibility for yourself because movies like, you know, Lord of the Rings, they were not just popular because Aragorn was so hot, which is on a tif different um piece of paper, it also uh, shows that the smallest person, like Frodo, yeah, he could change the world. So if you consider yourself the smallest person and you think you, you have to live with it, with it, you can't do anything about it, that's not true. And I think those events are important to see, how am I actually dealing with it? That shows me a lot about myself. Am I one of the people who distribute fear, anger and hate too? Or do I use a situation like that in order to elevate my thinking, in order to create hope and a new perspective? Because I can complain about everything and not doing anything or offer some solutions. So my solution is that you take responsibility and believe that you're not too small and you, you can do something. And that it's not about them and us. You know, we always have that in families too and also nationwide still, which is very interesting. Obviously, we need it as humans. Um, that we bond with somebody by, ha by hating somebody else, by creating an enemy instead of bonding directly. So imagine that, or you know, you're them for somebody else too, you know. Oh, those, they have done that and they are like this. You are that they for them too. So I think it's time not to do it through enemies and not to do it through hate. There's a German saying, Stell dir vor, sich Krieg und keiner geht hin. So in English, it should could be, imagine somebody declares war but nobody shows up for the fight. 
So I think you can only learn something here when you reflect on yourself. How do I react? What do I need to learn? What do all those people stand for? Those politicians, those systems, and so on. What does that have to do with me? And how can I elevate my action, my thinking, my true leadership so that I can create a difference that is creative? You know, something creative always comes out of something destructive. It has always been like that. And I know I've been told that my approaches sometimes are a little bit ahead of time. I'm not sure anymore because I think it's up to us, to every single person, not to make that ahead of time, that kind of thinking, and whatever that means for you. It's up to you to make it the present. And in the age of Aquarius, it's about elevating the individual thinking, the individual awareness and consciousness and to rise above the original normal and from there to, pray, to start to make a new quality of togetherness. In the age of Pisces, the last 2,000 years, it was the opposite. The individual was more denied and we did it together. Yeah? So think about what that does with you. I know that was a little bit longer, this thought, but I thought it was worth it. And you let me know your thoughts.